get its health insurer to bulk up on government business. The insurance giant buying rival Humana for $37 billion. The proposed cash and stock deal makes Aetna a major player in the rapidly growing Medicare Advantage business. Joining us now is Marco Soriano. He's the managing director at Soriano Group LLC. So Marco, it's not just Medi Medicare, but it's Medicaid as well. That's right. So if you have Aetna, if you have Humana, will your premiums go up? Well, this is the big question right now because in any time we've had any sort of merger, merger or acquisitions happening, the premiums go up on a short term and then eventually they correct themselves. And a lot of people are a bit concerned with this. The competition with the Affordable Care Act is one of the biggest causes to this merge as well. Well, that and also employer-sponsored health care is de declining. This is one of the cons, right, of, of the, the Obamacare would be that the employers that are making or earning the highest would have to be responsible for providing health care. And, and this is where we're looking at, so which is the way that we should go best. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about, you know, the patients, of course, anytime you talk about, you know, mergers, patients are thinking, am I going to have to pay more? What are the benefits of, of a merger such as this? Well, that needs to be disclosed, I think, to the patients and whoever currently carries such insurances, and it hasn't been. When the merge takes place, the CEOs should absolutely inform the clients how this is going to work out for them in their advantage or disadvantage in the short term. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on that because as you said, it's going to take a minute for it to unfold and see how it actually uh, works out. Absolutely. All right, so i got to talk to you about this. So you've heard about this. Whole Foods now apologizing to its New York City customers for incorrect pricing. So the apology is coming on the heels of New York investigators discovering the store consistently mislabeled meat weights and overcharged for pre Package fruits, vegetables, and deli meat. <laughs> Straight up, uh, we made some mistakes. We want to own that. It's understandable sometimes mistakes are made. They're inadvertent. They do happen because it's a hands on approach to bringing you the fresh food. Straight up, will consumers still go to Whole Foods? I, I think so. I mean, Whole Foods has a very good reputation, especially in New York. Um, the fact that the CEOs and the co CEO were in online and offer an apology is, is really nice. Uh, this happened before, and it keeps on happening. It actually accrues to about a billion dollars in mistakes every year. Not just Whole Foods? Or? This is just not the Whole Foods. This is all the department stores that the Department of Consumer Affairs has given reports. So this is not just the Whole Foods. This is every supermarket. Really? So, But in Whole Foods, the stores uh, here in the city regularly overcharge uh, $14.84 for a package of coconut shrimp and $4.85 for eight chicken tenders. Right. So we have to question all obviously is this intentionally being done what is the problem that these supermarkets are having is it technology because if you mark down a product or if you have some sort of promotional mm -hmm. anything going on it should be all across the line electronically and it should be done so mistakes don't take place but uh, clearly this is not the case that we're looking at Okay, well, going forward, hopefully since they're going to give items away for free for the customers to discover <laughs> if they discover they're overcharged. So I'll be there making there the line. <laughs> All right, Marco Soriano. Thank you. Thank you.